Welcome to Spacey G's Flower Arranging School and today we're going to talk strictly about gardenias because it is that time of the year for loads of gardenias. In a banner year they are everywhere. They are simple to gather, simple to find. If you have a neighbor with a gorgeous gardenia bush, uh, don't be shy. Go ask them if you can cut a few uh, or cut many if they'll let you. Uh, if you have your own, just cut away right now. They won't last too much longer. They're a late May, early June bloom but we are in the height of one of the South's most evocative flowers and certainly it's for their simplicity of color and, and their evocative odor, of course, or scent, which will permeate an entire room. So first of all, I've done just your classic gardenia nosegay in a silver, uh, silver cup, which you'll see at weddings, receptions, country clubs, everywhere. This is a little, a little too classic, perhaps. I know, you know, if you're still telling the same story to the same people after 40 years, you may want to try a new approach. So, but it's lovely that you certainly can't go wrong with your classic gardenia nosegay. And, uh, but go out, get bunches of stems and gather up a bunch of bowls and vases, uh, unusual things and see what you might want to put them. For instance, here's another idea. Uh, a large trifle bowl. How often do we really use a trifle bowl down south? But they're perfect for floating camellias and gardenias. And the wonderful thing about a nice open uh, area like this and you're floating them is you are going to get that beautiful gardenia aroma all through the house. Probably the best way if you're really seeking to scent a room with your gardenias. Now of course when you float them leave lots of greenery and leaves so that they will help bring the petals up above the water and uh, that way they will last a little bit longer. Probably last a good two three days and I tell you it will scent an entire room. But beautiful display and very very simple very classic again now if you want to try something a little different and you're just a little bit tired of the sort of the same old same old arrangements with gardenias that we all see, uh, try just floating the single stem. This is, I like to put uh, rocks, just put some lovely rocks, just a few, you don't need much, and one simple bloom. A very simple, very clean, very uh, modernistic, and certainly moves you away from that whole overbearing southern sort of seersucker approach to the gardenia. Uh, nose gay. So this is a lovely way. We'll send an entire room. It's great for a bathroom press if you have guests coming over. So get out there right now uh, while they're in, in full bloom and go gather up a bunch of gorgeous southern gardenias and see what you can do with them. Thanks for being here.